big Ooh. moment at the Emirates. Paul Merson. Oh, it comes. First of all, Havertz sends a keeper the wrong way. Then Wendell steps up. He's the fullback who's had an unbelievable game against Saka. He hits his penalty, hits the post, hits Raya on the back and goes safe. They've missed. Now it's Saka. Advantage Arsenal. Massive penalty coming up. Saka is the penalty taker. If you want to stay with me, we'll he's stay waiting. We'll, stay with, we'll stay with you. Yeah, we'll stay with he's you. Taking his time. He's taking his time. Quick steps. Runs up. Oh, and he puts the keeper, doesn't move, and it's advantage Arsenal. 3 1. 3 1. Brilliant stuff. And what a moment for Bakayo Saka, Do you feel this underscores his experience, his maturity now? Oh, he's a brilliant penalty. He hasn't had the greatest of games. It's really weird because Wendell's had the better of him. He scores his pen penalty. Wendell misses his penalty. Now the pressure's on now, Porto. They have to score this next penalty. Or it looks like Arsenal will be in the quarter, quarter final, in my opinion. And that's and a good. Know, just wait and see who's taking it. It was a good save by David Raya, wasn't it, as well? I think oh, it's... No, he did save it. He hit, the, he hit the post and then he hit his back, it looked like. I'm just trying to see who's taking this penalty now. I can't... It's one of the substitution who's going to take it. He steps up. Oh, Raya gets his hands to it, but it goes in. Real good penalty by the sub. 3-2. Yeah, Gruwich with the goal. Gruwich. Sorry. How do you feel? Do you feel there's going to be a, a comfortable shootout from this point, or do you think that there'll be a twist. You know, he got his hands to that, Raya, but he just didn't quite get it. You know what, the big advantage is now for the next penalty taker for Arsenal is, and it's Declan Rice. He's got less pressure on him because he can afford to miss. Do you know what I mean? They'd still be in it. It's not like the first, first two penalty takers. If he gets this one now, you know, virtually got one foot in the quarterfinal. If he misses, it's still game on. But the whistle's been blown. Rice is going to... He's just waiting. He steps up. Oh, brilliant penalty down the middle, Rice, 4-2. They're on the cusp, aren't they? They're on the cusp, what? and they've been brilliant have to penalties. Score. You know, you always look at this. If you're going deep into the Champions League, you've got to have good penalty takers, because defensively, they're very sound. And tonight, they look very good penalty takers. They, they, if this don't go in now, I'm just going to see who's taking this one as well. Now is Galano, who, who got the weldy goal in the uh, first leg. And he's stepping up. He has to score this Galeo. If he doesn't score, Arsenal are through. If he does score, they've got one more chance to, to go through. So, big penalty again. I mean, yeah. if he can score from 25 yards, surely he can score <laughs> from 12, can't he? Well, there, he had a big miss in the first leg as well, didn't he? Sorry? He had a big miss in the first half as well, in the first leg, didn't he, Galeo, yeah, as well? Yeah, he did, but he scored the goal as well at the end. So, this is a big one now. He nerves on him. He's got to score this to make Arsenal play it out. Here he goes, the whistle's been blown. Quite a long run up, he runs up. Akiva saves it! And Arsenal are in the quarter final, and Raya is the hero! Brilliant, get in there. What, what a moment for Arsenal, what a moment for David Raya, Merce, has been oh, big a, question what a marks. For Raya, unbelievable, he took a lot of stick before he came here. Arteta kept faith, he scored, he saved two penalties, been outstanding, and they're through to the quarter finals, they're top of the Premier League. All going well for Arsenal at the moment. Brilliant. Does this help or detract from the title race? What do you think? Well, how do you see it for Arsenal? Oh, yeah, it only gives you confidence. It gives you confidence. It's a major. Plus, you've always got that extra thing to fall back on. You know, if they'd have gone out tonight and then lost to Man City, and then it's a, you're on a bit of a downer. Now, all of a sudden, they go to Man City. They've still got the Champions League as well. Massive, massive boost for Arsenal. Brilliant for the fans as well. Did it feel like a coming of age night? It felt like they were kind of outfoxed a bit in the first leg, but maybe they came, came good tonight? Yeah, I think more experience. I think, again, in this game, they didn't know whether to stick or twist, didn't really play with a big te with a tempo, but they stuck in there. Port were a lot better than what I thought they'd be. I thought they were outstanding. But w what brilliant penalties by Arsenal. Brilliant goalkeeping. And when you've got penalties like that, and you've got penalty takers and a goalkeeper that can save penalties, you can go a long, 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 long way in this competition. Merce, just looking at some of the pictures, on, you'd imagine the celebrations, but I think Gabriel looks upset. There's a bit of um, a bit of scuffle, nothing too serious. Yeah, but nothing like too serious. Arteta's telling everybody to get away. I think a couple of the players have got the ump course they have. They've just lost an epic game in the, in the last 16 that's gone to penalty, so they're going to be upset. So, at the moment, Arteta's doing the right thing. He's getting the players away. And a brilliant, brilliant night for Arsenal Football Club. An amazing night and an amazing night for Raya, who, let's be honest, took a lot of stick when he first got to Arsenal. And he's proven tonight what a brilliant goalkeeper he is. And do you think it's a vindication of Mikel Arteta with, with Raya almost in, the, in this moment? Yeah, I think so. I think he stuck with him. He, you know, he, he wanted him in, he's brought him in. 
And fair play to him. And a nice moment. Ramsdale's gone over to him, classy. And he's smiling, he's cuddling him. So, nice. It's ni nice touch. Nice touch. Well, it's just asking you as a, a former Arsenal player, what do you think is going to be the biggest thing for Arsenal? Could it be the Champions League or does the Premier League r remain supreme? You know what? If they won any of them, it would be absolutely amazing. I mean... You got, you got the, you, you're up against Liverpool, Man City in the Premier League, you know, two of the best teams in the world, and you're up against, you know, again, the best team in the world in the Champions League in Man City. So, they're in it, they've got a chance. Defensively, they're good. I think over two legs, I think they're Man City's biggest threat, in my opinion. I think Arsenal can go a long way if they can stay away from Man City. They've got City next, haven't they, in the Premier League? 19 days' wait. You, how important was it that they won tonight? Would that have been a, a, an unpleasant wait if they'd lost? Yeah, massive. I, mean, I think it's a massive, uh, a, a massive boost for everybody. As I say, you know, you can, you can get beaten Man City, draw your next league game after that, and you're out the title race. They've got something else now. They've got something with the Champions League. So they've got two trophies to go for still. So it's a massive, massive thing for Arsenal, this. And it's, it's got the elephant out the room. They've been going out of these competitions too too often many years ago at this stage and they've gone through tonight and I think it just, it just, it just it, Arsenal are moving forward you know they're a very good team they, they took the best team in the world to two games last season to the end of the season and now they're top of the league and in the quarter final they should get major, major credit I don't think they get the credit they deserve if I'm being honest we're always waiting for a Liverpool or Man City to kick on but Arsenal are in there there's no doubt about that and most of you were Mikel Arteta, what would you do for the next 19 days? That war if by I the was him, I'd go over well. to what's name Dubai again and see that Salt Bar, whatever his name is. So, salt Bay. Yeah, and get him state. to feed him again. That's what I'd do. <laughs> it, it's worked well, though, hasn't it? It's been a, they've been on the rampage since. Oh, I've been, they've been outstanding. You know, you can't win every game five and six like they had been. They had to really work hard against Brentford and they got over the line in the last three or four minutes with Averts. Tonight, they had to be patient. They had to play a different game. It's... Champions League football is a lot different to Premier League football. They had to be patient, and, and they were, and they went into took to penalties, outstanding penalties, and two outstanding, and well, one outstanding save by Ray. I think the other one hit the post, hit his back, and then went out wide of the goal. So, yeah, fair play to him. I'm pleased for Ray. As I say, he took a lot of stick. It's a great penalty by Declan Rice, wasn't it? What was he brought to Arsenal? More belief? I'm not sure about more belief because no disrespect to Declan, but he isn't coming there with 25 trophies in his pocket. What he's come with is he's come with a, being a top, top player. And I think he's took him to the absolute next level. I think he's top draw and I think he's brought the best out in everybody and he carries people forward. I think Odegaard had a quiet time during the season. Now he's back to his best. His ball for the goal was was. Kevin De bruyne -esque. and it was amazing. So, players are informed. You know, Saka has a quiet game. Odegaard plays well. The two defenders play well. So, you know, they, they spread it out. They're not always relying on the same player, and that's a good thing for Arsenal as well. You know, they move on now. I can't talk highly enough for an amazing, amazing result tonight. Just hearing from David Rice speaking to TNT Sports, saying he has been working this week, Merce, on the penalties, doing his research. And that was evident. I suppose it shows how much work goalkeepers have to do these days. Very much. He went, I think he went the right way in three of the penalties. So he's done his own work. He's done his own work. He, he got his hand to one that went in. The other one, he went the right way, hit the post and hit him. And then he saved the other one. So fair play to him. He has done his own work. Only one, he went the wrong way, which was a phenomenal penalty. The other three went the right way. So... It's very important, but brilliant penalties from Arsenal as well. Brilliant penalties. Anyone ask them will fear in the Champions League? Do you think you mentioned City? I would probably say Man City. You'd have to say Man City, but I, I don't see any of the other teams scaring Arsenal. I think over two legs, they'll, they'll fancy themselves. OK, brilliant. Paul Merson, thank you very much for staying on with us tonight. Pleasure. A late one for you. Pleasure. Brilliant to watch it, and thank you very much for talking us through that shootout. So Arsenal through then to the Champions League quarterfinals for the first time since 2010. Remember, never won the competition. They have, of course, so got to the final back in 2006. They'll be in the hat for the last day, including Barcelona as well, after they came past Napoli 3-1 on the night tonight. We'll